Hello, everyone, and welcome to the eighth episode of Carnival Cruising Podcast Aways, the podcast where we talk about anything and everything Carnival Cruising related. My name is Trevor Shelby, and joining me on this crazy, super weird cruising adventure is my good friend, Mr. Thomas Kennedy. What's up, guys? Long time no see. It's only been like, what, a week? Yeah, it's been, you know, every time I do this opening, I really feel like it's been too long since I've done it again. And all I know is that you have less takes every time and I don't have enough time to I, I don't get a laugh at it for like three takes. I know. Yeah, I'm getting better at this opening. But in, in the time frame of, of where this is, so so the listeners know. We're actually recording this a little early. Mr. Kennedy had finished his episode and our last episode, which where we had Mr. Lee join us, we kind of filmed all we kind of recorded all these together here. So and we're so actually I had, I had we're actually had, doing this on the day of on John Hill's birthday. So we need to wish him a happy belated birthday. Yes, yes. And you were recording this on John's birthday. Happy birthday, John. And from our hearts, well, actually, from our song to you, we are going to sing you a very special happy birthday to John. One, two, three. <gasps> happy, happy birthday, birthday John. John. <laughs> I think the actual thing is like copyrighted, so we can't really like sing the actual happy birthday yeah. song. So I hope you enjoyed that, John. And, and that's a lot. I know you than listen. <laughs> than the stuff they sing at like Logan's Roadhouse and stuff yeah. like that. And when they're like, happy birthday, happy birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's John's day. So anyways, this is like two weeks after his birthday. He's going to be like WTF. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, a little bit too much. But oh, well, that's what we are. So we've got a pretty good show set up for you guys today. I'm excited about it. Uh, I am we, too. We have been talking about some pretty cool things in our our news our news is going to be a little old and out of date, but that's fine. That's fine. It's whatever. But I am excited to start seeing the cruise news coming yeah. out. And so if you guys yeah. definitely go over to YouTube and look for the cruise news, the Carnival Cruise. Is it Carnival Cruise News? yeah it's carnival cruise news yeah look for the carnival cruise news youtube page and subscribe to that today for up to date well, by the time this comes out it'll already be made and so yeah. you'll be able to link it in the bio yeah so yeah and then definitely click the link down below that way we'll grow that page as well and be a lot of fun so what sets us a little bit different for with the cruise news is the fact that this is carnival like this is we we we're only focusing on the carnival family here and so it's nice to if you just want carnival cruise news if if you if you don't want to hear about what's going on with some other random small company that has nothing to do with carnival then well, this, this, this will encompass all of go. all of Car uh, like princess and and costa and canard all the all the news with within carnival corporation is what yes, i've decided under to do. their umbrella so so very cool very cool i'm excited to see that mr kennedy is going to do an excellent job i'm very excited for him i hope so i mean you know it's i don't have a lot of t i didn't have a lot of time to plan like the, the podcast <laughs> itself and you know finding newsworthy stuff is is 
is diff is more difficult than you think. Yeah, actually. it really is. And you know, but we could always be like those YouTubers that just like find the smallest thing and make a fifteen minute video about it. So <laughs> it's kind of what we do for this podcast. I don't know. <laughs> So one thing I want to talk about with the, the episode that Tom did by himself, I haven't been able to make any rebuttals or talk about anything that he said on that show as of yet. And so I did want to say that he talked a little bit about when you go to port and tipping your porter and all that. Uh, that's that I, I, I wanted to, to, to just mention that's that's like a, it, it's so much easier to do it that way. There are a lot of people that when it's your first cruise, you're just not really sure what you're supposed to do. So you arrive in port and you've got the little piece of paper telling you where to park or, uh, you know, you want to go park. And so your first thing you do is you skip going up to port first and you just go to your parking and then you got to drag all your luggage from your parking spot all the way to the port, which if you're in Galveston, you're parking like miles down the road. And so you've you've got a long, uh, a long trek if you're walking. But typically, you know, you, you'll jump on one of the one of the shuttles. But man, save those poor shuttle guys backs. Drop your bags off up there. It's so much easier. The less time I spend dragging my luggage around, the better. I'm happier. I'm happier, Trevor. So Because, <laughs> you know, th this is why I don't like doing it by myself now, I've realized. It's because I can't bounce things off of you. But, um, <laughs> it, you know, you got to save your back, too. You know, dragging, yeah. and dragging all of your luggage across the the street and you know a quarter mile down the road and you still got five miles worth of gangway to go to go up right it's it's something else so i definitely recommend going by the port dropping your bags off uh, i actually like how kind of new orleans is set up so every port is kind of different so it's always good to kind of research so new orleans at one point i it's been a minute since i've been through their port but when you went to park, they had it set up at one point where before you even when you pulled into the parking garage, they were there taking your bags. So that was really nice. So you didn't have like too much of a, a downtime because that parking garage is like right right there against the structure there. Uh, Galveston, completely different. It's down the road. You got to get take a shuttle and so save everybody's backs, drop them off. And then, yeah, tip the guy couple bucks uh, per bag, a buck or two, and then you're good. I, you know, if I'm feeling pretty generous, I'll hand them all of our bags, which is a lot for my family, and I hand them a 20. <laughs> and then they get really nice. They're just like, hey, uh, uh, I'm going to make sure these get on the boat right away. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. Sure. And, and you have to realize that the, the, the porters that take your bag work for the terminal. They don't work for Carnival. Exactly. They're working for those tips. So and usually like a lot of them are like at retirement age. So I'm guessing it's kind of like a retirement job. And yeah. so and it's, you know, support, you know, the local wildlife, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wildlife. <coughs> Sorry. Nature kills. I saw yeah, COVID. Nature, nature yeah. kills. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember, nature, nature, nature kills. kills. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But yeah, I just wanted to address that. Everything else was fine on that episode. I I thank you, Mr. Kennedy, for covering that. I was dying of the uh, what's going on, the global bastard right now. And I, yeah, I was not in a good place. It's because <laughs> you were hanging on to a bunch of showgirls in Vegas. <laughs> I was. <laughs> You know, if anybody ever asked me, like my grandchildren, Papa, <laughs> how did you get COVID? I'm like, well, <laughs> there were some showgirls. <laughs> and your grandmother, we had some showgirls in Vegas one time, and um, I came back. Oh. oh, I hope I sound like that. But <laughs> so, anyways, no, it's just 
yeah it happens you know what what happens in vegas is supposed to stay there covid doesn't listen <laughs> <laughs> so. so for our first topic today we've got one kind of it's kind I, of a I, hot topic i think well i think it is and this is one that i know that we're going to differ on and so because because i like one away you like others so whenever you every night you, you you can go to the main dining room and when you go in the main dining room you've got either early dining you got late dining or you could do the anytime dining so we're gonna kind of go over the differences in those talk about what we like to do so early dining i believe is right around six o'clock typically I think you're out typically around seven ish, depending on what the show is and what, what what all they do. And then there's late dining, which I'm not sure is that eight o'clock or seven thirty. Yeah, it, it, I believe it's at eight or eight thirty. Eight or eight thirty. Okay, yeah. yeah, it is later. Because and... you, you're talking about it's you're talking a good two hour dinner time for six for the six o'clock early dinner, right? So, so and, they have to have time to clean up a little bit. Yeah. And then you have anytime dining, which is just its name. You can go anytime you nowadays with anytime dining, you can actually go on to the app on your phone and just schedule when you're going to be there for that day. And they'll have a table ready for you when you arrive. So I prefer early dining and it's because I'm an early diner as it is. I like to eat early. And I typically have my dinner around there, around six o'clock, you know, so that works for me. But I know some of the downsides of it is you're always butting against times for like all kinds of stuff going on. You got your your late night movies that are going to be starting at like seven. And then you've got um, like if you're coming back in the port, typically you only have like a, an hour or 30 minutes at the most to get ready for dinner. But I always kind of prefer early dining. How about you? I've always preferred early dining too. I've yeah, that's all all I've ever gotten is early dining. Okay. Now, you know, I, I'd much rather have early dining because, you know, like you said, you know, you, you you bunt heads into, you know, the 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 dive in movie stuff. But if you go to late dining, you miss the 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 non family movie, right? You know, the 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 superhero movie or or. Or the you know the movie about the ship that sank or something like that. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, you know, I understand what you're saying. That 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 was always my concern too. I've i I always took you for an eat an late night diner than than no, an early. No. So no, no, I'm, I'm I always eat around usually between six and seven is when I eat. Usually. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. It there's just so much that's going on that I want to go do. Uh, that's at the same time as the late dining like i like to go hit up the comedy shows or usually they have a show go on now the the broadway type shows typically they have two sets for each night and so you can kind of catch one of those but you know it's like the way that that's kind of set up you know you kind of almost miss both <laughs> so I, I know that one time, uh, it was a May cruise. The the cruise that I got generally for free, except for port port fees and taxes, and we went and like we would eat dinner, and my mother was gone. She was running to the show that was performing then, even though there was a show yeah. like right afterwards, <laughs> the same show. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I got to get to the show. She like, had oh. to get there, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've seen my mother-in-law do that as well. So. so, but if you if you like traveling in 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 a pair or a group, you know, well, actually, you just let's just say a pair, you know, I would and you don't want to meet other people, then I would think, you know, your time dining because you're almost guaranteed a table for however many is in your party. Right. Yeah. And uh, I will and say I, 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 I have done the other where I've gone into 
it, where it's been just been me and me and my wife, me and my wife, and they sat us with a random couple. Been there, done that, and I thought it would be super awkward, but we ended up hanging out with them and became oh. Facebook friends. <clears throat> and mm -hmm. uh, it's just kind of interesting. It's like I meet new people and still friends to this day on Facebook. I mean, we uh, we did that on that May cruise, and then we didn't get linked to your to everyone on your wedding cruise. And so right. my mother and I were were downstairs until we just decided to move right. to you guys. Yeah, because cause... we didn't have everybody eating dining, so it was like we had open spots for you. Yeah, and boy, am I glad because. <laughs> You know, there are those good experiences where you like you have good conversation with the people that you don't know. And then you have the crack addict that was sitting <laughs> to my left. <laughs> who, by the way, got arrested at the first port of call. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, luckily she it was Key West, the first port of call, but <laughs> she was she, our whole table. I mean, there was eight of us at this table, and she was like scaring everyone. I mean, wow. she was she she was like waving her hand. She talked with her hands, and she's like very sensual with herself at the table. Yeah. So yeah. Well, yeah. No, I couldn't. I couldn't do that. <laughs> couldn't do it. No, I, I do remember that pretty well, though. The, the, you guys were stuck down there. And I vaguely remember somebody saying, I think Tom's sitting with the people that got arrested or something like that. And so. <laughs> well, only the lady got arrested. Her yeah. boyfriend, like, finished the cruise. Yeah. But, and I would, too. If my wife got arrested, <laughs> I, I would finish the cruise. <laughs> Which could happen. I mean. If she saw a cat in Mexico that she thought she could rescue, she might try to sneak it on the boat and get arrested or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> try and steal one of the Hemi one of the Hemingway cats. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't even think about that. <coughs> so. So, anyways, the the other con to the the your time dining that I don't like is you're going to probably, it probably won't happen every time, but it, more than likely you're going to have a different waiter each night because they're probably going to sit you at a different table each night because they're, they're only going to put you where they have somewhere open. And I part of the experience of cruising, for me anyways, is meeting your waiter. And... Mm -hmm. Them uh, getting to know your drink order and stuff yeah. like that. They're real friendly. They're nice staff. Uh, they'll they'll ask you how your day was. You know what you did. They they're in, they're they're genuinely interested. And I've actually seen other you know waiters that I've had in the past on other boats. And when I've when I've cruised again, and I'm just like, hey, you know. And my experience, he, he was like, I remember you. And I was like, sure you do. <laughs> you, you see thousands of people, <laughs> but. We took a selfie, which is on my Facebook page. It's really funny. He 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 stole my phone from me and took a selfie. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. One but, of the uh, cons that I find also, and this is because I there are people who are annoyed by it, but I actually enjoy it, is showtime. The, yeah. The, the waiters and the maitre d' singing and dancing, that to me is what makes it fun. Oh yeah, and swinging dirty towels. But <laughs> we won't talk about the dirty towel part. You know. Yeah, I I enjoy that as well. I don't know why people don't like it, and I, it always annoys me too when I see people getting up. <laughs> I become one of those cruisers, and they start ruining my cruise. <laughs> I'm like, why are you leaving? He hasn't said showtime yet. <laughs> Fifteen minutes to showtime. Yeah. 15 minutes to showtime. You see the lights kind of dim and come back up. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's going to start. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, I hope this, I hope they get dessert out before it yeah. starts. Cause I, I want to eat while I'm, while I'm watching this. Yeah. Yeah. I need yeah. my chocolate melting cake before it comes. No. <laughs> then every time I keep going gangum style, 
game gum style. Oh. <laughs> they don't do it anymore. <laughs> that was a perfect one for that boat. <laughs> they did it on the magic oh, for wow. like yeah, three or that. four years straight. Yeah. They had gangum style. <laughs> The only time the one I I could probably do without is whenever they're singing the the I'm leaving on a fun ship cruise, you know, <laughs> I'm on the last day. Leaving on a fun ship. <laughs> Can't wait for you to come back again. Something like that. Yeah, the one that they sing <laughs> on the last day. I'm yeah, like, it's I cry. <laughs> why are you leaving on a fun ship? I want to leave on a fun ship. <laughs> I, you can't make me leave. Oh, <laughs> I do know if I ever wanted to stow away, I could do it. I could too. Yeah, and, I think and, we and both have the same idea. <laughs> yeah, and, and they're required by law to 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 keep us on board if we're you know yeah so if they find us if they find us huh. <laughs> no but seriously but yeah that's that's the 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 dining different options different things if you guys uh, what do you if, if if you like especially if you like the later night dining tell us tell us why what is it about it that you like what because it's it's obviously different from our opinion so give us some some info on what you like about it and then that way we'll we could read it out at a future episode so our next topic today is uh one that i think was asked in a carnival group yeah it was in cruising with carnival facebook page yeah and this was an interesting one and we kind of talked about something like this kind of mentioned a, a similar type of question and so i was excited when you brought this up it was name three things you wish carnival would have on the ship so three things that carnival so like it could be anything and i think for me one thing that i would like to see on future especially the xl ships is maybe and we've kind of discussed this in the past maybe different variants of the roller coaster yeah so, that'd be interesting yeah so just a little different design i don't know if they're doing that or not i don't know if it's the exact same design the exact same everything we both used to work at a uh, amusement park and i do know that that track is like not cheap and it's kind of hard to to build so if you've got everything kind of lego style can can fit it all together then why change it but i would prefer there to be different ones so then you could go on and say okay this one was a little bit you know this one was fun but this one on this boat that one was my more my style so that's one thing that i i i would like to see how about you you got something yeah something that i'd like to see is I would like to see just a bigger space in the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a bigger, a bigger shower space because you know it looks like on the the on the XL shifts they actually made them smaller because they put a sliding door on it instead of the curtain. But you know I'm a big guy, <laughs> and you know. Or, or at least give me a decent size toilet seat because I've fallen off the toilet before. Yeah, you know we we made a hard turn one time and, and I fell off the toilet. <laughs> so, you know that's that's either make uh, the make it make the room bigger, put a seat belt on the toilet, or give me a bigger seat so that you know <laughs> I don't I don't lose you know. <laughs> handrails <laughs> seatbelt <laughs> you know you know what i'm saying though <laughs> yeah no i understand i i actually have a funny little story which was when we were on the sunshine mm -hmm. i went to the public bathroom that was on Lido, and it was the men's room went inside and the bathroom stalls swung inward and to actually, okay, I, you'd open the door, and I got in the stall, 
and I went to shut the door and the door, no joke, came like inches from the toilet. So there's no way for the pull the door closed because it would come up against me and I couldn't to to actually get the door closed. I stood on the toilet to shut the door <laughs> and I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and yeah, no, that was the most bizarre, like public toilet I've ever used. I don't know how no, anyone was uh, the, using those bathrooms. <laughs> the, the, the the toilet by the casino on the breeze, I've actually had to back up to the toilet ju just to sit down. Yeah. The, the, the stalls were so thin. Yeah. It's something else. And that, that uh. just makes me sound really, really <laughs> fat. Yes, I am fat. But, <laughs> now, I, I will say on the vista the what was really nice was the the all of their all the public restrooms i used on that boat because that's something i think of now every time i'm like is this like the sunshine <laughs> and so i will i'm glad to report that everything is nice in there yeah but it, it really comes down to man they probably have every inch of that ship plotted out as best they can yeah, just to maximize sunshine? as much space. Yeah, because you, <laughs> it's not a very well, big I mean, boat. No, I mean, at one point it was the largest uh, cruise ship in the world, but that was 20 years ago when it was right. built. Yeah. You know, you know and, and, and launched as the Destiny. And then they, they crammed all this stuff on there. It was like, wow. Yeah. So. Yeah. So something else I would like to see on a carnival ship would be uh, a callback, which is skeet shooting. OK, <laughs> you've said this on almost every episode. <laughs> I know. And I'm going to keep saying it. Skeet shooting. I mean, come on. I feel like I lived in the wrong era. I want to well, shoot I mean, on, <laughs> on the, a boat. On the, on the 50th anniversary uh, celebration that they're having you know, the beginning of March, they might ha have it just for that cruise because they're bringing back activities from 50 years ago. Yeah. So, you know, and drinks, which I'm kind of disappointed because I was hoping they might have the, the you know, the Carnival on the Rocks. Yeah. Thing. But sadly, it sounds like that recipe has been lost to time. Yeah. But uh, we do. Tom did do some digging on that. And John said that the people that knew that recipe are, are no longer gone. around. <laughs> so like more than likely dead. Yeah. That's basically well, what he said. <laughs> and it's not necessarily true because their former president who was like their COO at the time is still around. Oh, and yeah. So we need to reach out to him. I just can't find a social for him. <laughs> I'd love to have him on the show. He's been there since day one, so that'd be so cool. But the did you have anything else? Any? Well, any yeah, I'm, it's <clears throat> name three things. I thought. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we're going back and forth here. So yeah, what's what's your next one? God, just <laughs> kick me while I'm down. Why don't you? Wow. Well, and, you know. <laughs> now this is gonna. I I just want to make make it really fun you know and a really fun activity and open a full-size bowling alley Ooh, <laughs> that i mean that was quick that could get really interesting especially if you're bowling during a storm or something <laughs> that i i that that whole adds a whole other level of anything to that sport that's that's great that's like i a know whole new level I don't know. I for my third one, I kind of struggle because I would like to see I know that they have movie theaters and stuff on on some of the newer ships now. The you know, I used to work in movie theaters, and so I always enjoy going and seeing that. But if not movie theaters or anything along those lines, I kind of go to food. <laughs> and so Maybe, you know, they have a lot of uh, options for people that 
that love like Chinese food, Mexican, Italian, a um, lot of meat options. I was thinking more along the lines. They have a lot of stuff that's Indian that is on uh, the menus in the main dining room. They should open up like an Indian like uh, eatery. Well, the magic, used to, I don't know if they've taken it out, but they used to have the tandoori, which is Indian, on the oh, back yeah. side of the Lido. But yeah. they have they, they they took them out of the 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 lineup and replaced them like on the Vista class with that lobster or the seafood shack, right? That that tandoori, right? And you know, and they should like class it up like they did with you know big chicken and all that. They should find some like big spokesperson for their Indian thing. Yeah. I don't know, like like get. Get another basketball player. <laughs> I was going to say the guy who played Kumar. From oh, there you go. <laughs> Kumar. Yeah, there you go. Now, mine is also food related. I want, it's actually a callback as well. They used to have the 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 seaside hot dog stand and sea dogs, I think it was called. Yeah. You know, where they had hot dogs and stuff. But change it up to where instead of them serving like boiled or steamed hot dogs to a grilled hot dog yeah you know? there you go because you know it was brought up in, in, in like the past about the you know before guys that there was the the hot dog nacho burger line on the lido deck and that's gone now and so i was like yeah those the hot dogs are actually kind of good so It'd be interesting to have those back because I really do like a hot dog every now and then. And what are you doing? Put that away. <laughs> I was letting my cat in. She was scratching at the door and she's being a brat. So. No, yeah, hot dogs is great. So is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes. OK, I, I don't I don't think because so. You need because two pieces a sandwich of bread. is a, not a what about a, ha, a half sandwich where you take a, a piece of bread, put, you know, meat or peanut butter on one side and you just fold it together. That's called lazy. That's called a half sandwich. <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, a, yeah, sandwich, yeah. a sandwich, I'm not is, buying it. A sandwich is. I've never done that once in my life. Whatever. <laughs> Everyone's done that once in their life. <laughs> A sandwich is defined as bread and some sort of of interior item could be a protein, a vegetable, or or just a condiment of some sort. You know, yes, a mayonnaise sandwich or yes, a mustard sandwich is still a sandwich. So you know, so you get a, and a hot dog meets those. You know, meets those. You got the bun. You got the hot dog. You got the condiment. Okay, so it is a sandwich. We need to have a poll rolling here. I don't believe it's a sandwich. I believe the hot dog is its own darn thing. It's got one piece of bread, one piece of meat, and then got condiments. So you, know, you can break I, that piece of bread in half. You got two I, pieces of bread. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't come that way. So what I want is for our listeners to go on our Facebook page, Carnival Cruising Podcast, away the group, and let us know if your hashtag hashtag not a sandwich. Or hashtag, it's a sandwich. So definitely let us know. This is an argument that they can only be settled uh, by. In the ring. In the ring. And then we'll have to go 60 minutes to a draw. False count anywhere. And um, wait, those kind of contradict. I, I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you guys for joining us on today's episode. This was a fantastic week for us, and I hope you all are also having a great week as well. You forgot to tell them where to find us. Oh, yeah, you can find us. You can find us on our social media, uh, on Facebook, under Carnival Cruising Podcastaways. We got a actual Facebook page and a group under the same name. And yeah, join them both. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, Tom, you want to see us out? 
I wanted to thank you all for joining us here on the Carnival Cruising Podcast Ways. It's been an honor and a delight. And remember, anything that happens on the ship stays on YouTube. Bye. See ya.